Hi, I'm the Toy Mom, and today we're gonna to see what's in this Mickey Mouse surprise bag. Let's see who it is. Oh, it's not Mickey, but it's Minnie. And we get to play with her Play-Doh Mini Boutique. We get to make bows and make her even more adorable than she already is. I wanna open it and play with you now. I have a favorite female mouse, and her name is Minnie Mouse. And what I love is today's Play-Doh Minnie Mouse Boutique set allows us to play with our favorite little female mouse. So, we get two pots of Play-Doh, and this one has kind of confetti-like in it, and so that's different. It's pink with other colors, and then we have a light purple. We also have a lot of tools that we can make different things with, but I think the first thing that we need to make is the mold of Minnie Mouse. So, let's see Minnie, I think we're gonna make you out of this Play-Doh that's pink with the colors. There we go. And we just press that in there. I don't wanna make her pretty thick and you will see why very soon. So to make a thicker mold, sometimes I just pile the excess back in the mold and there you can see it's, she's gonna be a little thicker. And that works out really well. So there we go. Now let's take her out. Oh, so now we start with our little mini mouse and we'll take off the excess or I'll tell you what let's just use one of our tools to take that off just cut right around there I think we should treat Minnie to a special day. We'll just call it Minnie Day today. And so Minnie, I wanna show you some of the things that came in your kit. For instance, this not only makes a mold of you, but it also makes molds of bows, two different kinds. So if we press that out and do that, there's one type of mold. See how pretty that is, Minnie? And then, if we turn the mold around, look at that. Just turns right around. We can make another bow. I'm really gonna press hard there. There we go. That one, I don't even think we need the knife. Well, maybe a little bit. I think we got it. There we go. And so look, Minnie, we made you a purple bow. They both are just a little bit different in design. And you actually, if you wanted to, you could make, put them together a little bit and make reversible bows. So one day you wear it like that, one day you wear it like that. So it makes that. And then I think we're gonna make you something special, something that's not even in the mold. How about you have a special pair of shoes made just for you, just for today, so you can stand up better to watch everything that we're gonna do. All right, well, I made that shoe earlier, and now let's make another one. We can just start with a little roll of dough, and you can either roll dough like this, or in your hands, like that. And then, we'll just shape it with our fingers. See if I just take my thumb and push it down while I'm pushing on the sides? Look how that already looks like a little shoe. There we go. Okay. Now, let's decorate it like we did the other one. 
We'll take a little bit of the pink Play-Doh and we'll roll it out like that and make it kind of thin. You see that? There you go. And then we just take that and put it around the shoe like that. There we go. And then, whoops, my other shoe fell over. Oh, see, you need your shoes. You just lay right there and take a little nap until we're all done. Then we'll make a bow for the shoe. And we'll just make it by taking a le another little piece of dough. You don't always need a mold to make what you want to make. You can just kind of visualize it, take it, make it a little long, and then what you do is smush it on both sides, push it in a little bit. There we go. There's a cute little bow for your shoe. And it looks like we need just a little bit of purple to put in the middle of the bow. There we go. Oops. And then we'll put a couple little spots. I put one in the front like that and one on each side. There we go. It's coming together. All right, Minnie, now let's put the two shoes together for you. Let's see if that helps you stand up a little bit better. Oh, I think that works much better. Now you can watch what else we're going to do. Because remember, we're calling this Minnie Mouse Day for you. So we have these great molds that we can probably make the largest bow you've ever seen in your life. So let's start with this mold. I think we need a pretty big piece of Play-Doh. And I've got an idea. This is a press or extruder, but right now I'm going to use this portion of it to kind of punch down my dough because what I notice is when I do that, I get a pretty nice design. And I know you love polka dots. So I have to smush it until it's flat enough for the mold. So let's see if this is going to work. I think it's going to work just fine. And then we take away the excess dough. Do you like it so far, Minnie? Isn't it adorable? Oh, I think so. But we're going to layer it because I think that's how this set works the best. So, we're going to use another color, the pink, and we're going to fill up this mold with pink Play-Doh so that we can make the next layer. I'm going to show you how I cut this. Sometimes you don't need a knife if you use the mold itself, and I'll show you what I mean. So if I take this mold and I kind of roll it like that, let me see what's happening. Look at how the Play-Doh comes loose, but also packs the Play-Doh very solidly into your mold. So you could use your knife to help get it started. See that? I'm just going to get this one corner out. Usually when you get one corner out, the rest of your Play-Doh comes out. I want to clean up. I don't want to make a mess here for you, Minnie. So look, we have the second layer. So we're going to put the second layer here like that. I'm going to hold it up so you can see what we're doing so far. Oh, Minnie, I think you're really going to like that. It's almost especially for you, a statue especially for you. Now, as if it's not fancy enough, 
we're going to take our press and we're going to put Play-Doh in there and we're going to make a ribbon to put on top of our bow. So get that packed in there, see that? And let's see what's happening on the other end. See that? I like to put my finger right there and then it'll go up. I'll try to get three ribbons out of it. There we go. Isn't that cute? Now, let's add that to our layer. Oh my goodness. You know what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use the press. I guess we better put that on there just a little bit better, huh? So that this sets up so that Minnie can see it come together and so can we. Just like that. And as cute as, as it is, we could add, look, there's a bow mold right there. And we can add that. Just need a little bit of Play-Doh and we'll use our pink. That'll work very nicely. Yeah, perfect. There we go. I'll put that right there. Look at that layered bow. Isn't that pretty with the colors and the shapes that we have? I think that turned out really well. And let's see, you know what? I think there's one more bow that we could make with this small bow that would make your day even more special. I know you love your bows, Minnie, and this set is perfect because it's all about the bow. Take this one out and this one is purple. There we go. And you know where I'm gonna put that, Minnie? I'm gonna put that right on you. And I'm gonna move you front and center. Oh, I'm gonna clean that up just a little bit. You are so cute. There we go. So there is our little Minnie Mouse in her custom-made shoes with her custom-made huge bow and we love you so much Minnie that I'm even gonna put a little heart right there to show how much oh I hope you enjoyed that day Minnie and I hope our friends that joined us today also had a good time they can now choose another play-doh surprise bag or one of my other surprise bags and I hope they don't forget to subscribe Minnie